Uh, they, they improved and they got better when the time was right last year. Last January and February, we won eight straight. We were 10 and four in the league. We won eight in a row, eight of our last nine, and we hosted a home playoff game uh, for the first time since we've been in the NEAC, I believe. So we can hit, kind of hit the ground running this year, um, whereas last year it, it was a struggle in November, December, and we were two and nine in non-conference, um, but they turned it around, 10 and four in the league, second in uh, NEAC South, and with a playoff game. So now the goal is to take it a step further. Perhaps, you know, our, our ultimate goal is to win the conference, obviously, and get the NCAA on Mac bid, but if not, it's to you know creep in there, make the NEAC Final Four, hopefully be playing in that NEAC championship, and then anything can happen. Uh, I want to win. <laughs> want to win the conference and make it to the NCAA tournament. So don't really care about the individual awards anymore. Marsville State. Because like well, right now they're preseason ranked top 20 in the country. They're number 20, so. They're always difficult. Well, opening night's quite a challenge. Opening night, we, we're going up the Scranton's tip-off tournament, and we drew Randolph-Macon from Virginia. Um, in one poll, I believe they're ranked eighth in the country, and another one, they're in the mid-teams. Um, they've been a NCAA tournament team in the past few years, I believe. Uh, I'm told they're picked uh, number one in their conference uh, going into the preseason. So we're going to be tested right off the bat. There won't be any easing into our season. And then whoever we get the second day, it's either the host Scranton or Immaculata. You know, so we'll be tested, hopefully, in our three non-conference games going into the NEAC. And then Morrisville State, you know, they had tremendous success last year. They won our conference. I believe they won a couple games in the NCAA tournament, went to the Sweet 16. Um, so that's a big deal for the NEAC, getting some credibility nationally, not just you know within the region or within our, our conference. Returning four starters, uh, returning the NEAC player of the year, Mike Marvin, uh, returning a second team all NEAC player in Avery Barnes, who's improved tremendously from March until now, and he's been by far our best player in the preseason. And returning the other two starters, the guards, uh, RJ Handy and Max Alton, and then the two other guys. We returned six guys. I'm excited to, with the new additions. We have a lot of new athletic freshmen. And I think that, you know, given the fact that we had an eight game winning streak last year, we can build on that and do well. Um, I think the sky is the limit for us. So the guys are excited. We had a couple preseason games and uh, we're very much looking forward to starting our season.